Good morning, Mug Club. May the 3rd, 2021. Let me refresh my screen here. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good this morning. Get my computer where I can read the comments. Hey, Mike. Alrighty. Hope everybody's doing great this morning. Doing good. Slept well last night. Of course, we're still on the dock. From remember, from those that or those that didn't get to see uh, the uh, live at five on Saturday, we did. Um, we're still in Jacksonville. Uh, good morning. We're still in Jacksonville. In morning, Cocoa Ball. Um, we're still in Jacksonville, but hopefully, we're getting the. Um, the park today and uh, we should be hearing from them in a little bit and we'll run over there and get it um, thinking about it I, su I suspect we won't get underway till in the morning if I had to guess as much as I'd love to because of the uh, water the tides are better to leave in the morning on how we're gonna leave so I suspect based on what it is right now low it's low tide um, So you're still, I guess it's still going out and we want to catch it on the incoming. So um, even if the park came in and we ran over and got it, ran back and got it on and all that, I don't, I don't see us leaving today. So I'm pretty sure bar the wrong park, something like that, we'll get underway tomorrow morning. Um, and then we'll be heading up to Fernandina Beach and Amelia Island stay there one evening and then we'll cross over uh the inlet and, and going up into cumberland island so i wanted to make a, a reminder that i heard and i don't know that this is truth but i heard that the um you don't have good cell service at cumberland island so i hope that's not true i can't imagine that verizon wouldn't work unless there's just not any towers close but uh Cumberland Island is seven, about 17 miles long, up and down. So I guess it's possible, but um, hopefully we have self service. And if for some reason we go dark for a day or so, then you'll know what it is. But um, I fully suspect that even if that happens, I'll go inland uh, to pick up service, dinghy over and get service and do a, a live or a, a mug club. So even if that happens, just be aware, you know, giving you a heads up. Uh, morning kayak, seven seas, rocking my good times mug this fine Monday morning. Well, cheers to you, my brother. Thank you so much for the purchase. Uh, anybody that hasn't purchased, please, you know, if you don't mind, go online, get you one. Good times is a state of mind. Be a part of the club. You purchase it on michaeljsteen.com. I really appreciate everybody that, that's purchasing is helping thank you so much can't tell you that enough i appreciate you really helping in this trip you not only helping me like i've been starting to tell people you're helping others i'm extending like when i have my truck i'm always taking people to help making runs creating a lot of goodwill out here uh, what i just need to do for y'all is to get some more of that on camera so that you can see it and i'm working on that so um, let's see Uh, Eric, good morning uh, from Wisconsin. Uh, Money Mike, sipping on a good times mug. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Um, Mike Caldwell, good morning, sir, from Central Florida. Hope all is well. It's probably a little muggy down there this morning. It was muggy here yesterday. I'm telling Marty, I'm watching people leave off the dock. Um, although they don't leave so much... Uh, on the weekends, but because uh, usually people get on the dock, they want to stay because bunch of boats out there. I actually did a video for you, so you'll see it eventually, but I just let it time lapse all day. And uh, good gosh, the boats, it's crazy. Right here, it's so congested right where we are. We're fine on the dock, but it's very congested. So, but the other day people leaving 
I was talking how, man, I'm, I'm itching. I'm like, I'm watching them come off the dock. I'm like, man, I want to get going. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you a story. So yesterday, like I normally do, if I have the opportunity, and I did yesterday, Sundays, I try not to do much work. That's Lord's Day, and I try to just, uh, for those who don't know, sometimes I try to go to church if I can, and then if I can't, I'll watch, I, my church is online, so I'll watch it online. Look at there, somebody. Let me see, let me answer, respond to that. Chad, thank you so much, buddy. It didn't, uh, let me delete this, it doesn't show. Chad threw up a cup of coffee this morning. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. So um, I was, um, I was, uh, I keep getting these darn notices. God dang it, hang on. Blocks out y'all's notifications. Um, so Sunday, yesterday, I, I decided I'd drive up like I try to do to look at where we're going to be. Um, if I have an opportunity, we don't always have the opportunity, but it worked out good. Uh, Fernandina Beach in Amelia Island. I uh, took some video and I went up there. Um, uh, man, what a cool, another little cool town, Fernandina Beach. The little uptown area, if you happen to be in there driving, great little stop. It ain't it ain't quite as busy, and I bet I suspect it won't be as bad as like St. Augustine. Uh, there was a lot of people there. It was a Sunday, as you would expect, but such a cool little river town. And then Amelia Island, uh, Fort Clinch State Park. Um, I plan on doing some of those things and videoing, so um, that was pretty cool. Um, I spent probably a couple hours, picked up a little part while I was up there that we uh, need for the extending our chains, these little links that you can put two pieces of chain together. So uh, again, I just call it doing recon on the area, but it's right there um, and I'm excited about getting up. I'm, it's gonna be some cool little areas. So let's see. Darren Gallagher, good morning, sir, from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Simon Powell, sell a beer mug and sell a beer mug and I'll get one. Good idea, buddy. Hey, I hadn't even ever thought about that one. We'll have to come up with that. We'll have to come up with something good for that. Very interesting. Good morning. Uh, good morning from Javier from Palmetto. All right. Good times. Pint glasses. I hear you, brother. Y'all get it going here now. That's that's a good idea too. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. Chad Richie, good morning from uh Ohio and Rob from Australia. All right, uh Rob, we had uh one of your fellow Aussies is on the dock uh a little further up. He's actually behind Contiki. He's probably getting off today. He's going to Colombia, going to meet his girl down there in Columbia. Hope she's still there for all that all that work to get down there. But uh, he's a pretty interesting guy. Yep. Uh, Caldwell, not too bad. Supposed to be 94 today. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be 90, but it's always much cooler out here by the by the coast than it is inland here in Jacksonville. It's supposed to be hot here too. Um, let's see. C to C Adventures. Good morning. Coffee and eggs here. Uh, we were able to stay overnight uh, over the weekend and enjoy the misty day, uh, San Diego. Okay, all right. Let me let me turn this around and I can sort of probably not be looking away from y'all. Um, my computer wouldn't come on this morning. I thought I was gonna have a problem. I'm not sure what happened. It freaks me out like that. I mean, I got it. I have insurance on it, but uh, it always. That's why I always put all my files on the external hard drive. Although I got an external hard drive that went bad. It's got some files on it. Um, praise the Lord and thank you for not being afraid to profess your faith. Absolutely not, Chad. I'm always going to do that, brother. That's where my blessings come from. That's where, that's how I'm safe. Uh, I don't mean to offend anybody, but I believe if you believe in the Lord, your life is better. So I'm going to always do it. Arthur, good morning. Dawson, uh, Arthur Dawson, good morning, sir. Mike Marino, morning, Mike. 
Bill Roach, good morning from Conroe, Texas. Um, Matthew, Matthew Jacobson, hey, from Jacksonville, what's up, buddy? We right in your backyard, you know it. Um, I'm at work, but I'm still there next to you. Rod K, I hear you, thank you so much. Wayne Barney, good morning, Cap, Kayak. Long Island, good morning from Surf City, North Carolina. Good morning, sir. Hope all is well there. Cabal, that's for Live at Five. I hear you. Yep, that Live at Five, a beer mug. That, that sounds pretty cool. I like the idea. Get your new coil put on your boat motor. Yes, the, the new coil is on there. I picked up uh, another coil somewhere. Might be in a bag. I picked up a second coil yesterday, like a that's one of the things I parts I picked up. So, um, um, yeah, let me, I'll, let me tell you a real quick story and then I'll come back to some of these. Um, so the, t the tides move so rough through here. We got a couple things we got to check before that we get underway. The, um, so on the back of your boat and it depends on if your mufflers, uh, exhaust, whatever you want to call it, on the back of the boat. Depends on how much stuff you got, whether they're sitting under water. Now, I've been using an awful lot of water, so mine are come up now. But we, uh, I noticed, I was out back and working on the dinghy. I got a problem with the dinghy, with the motor, not with the dinghy. And I noticed the tide was ripping, and you can tell without one of mine doesn't have a flapper, and one does. But that water is pushing because the boat's being held still and the water is pushing up the muffler. And I said to a neighbor boat who's behind us, I was taking him to the store or he was riding along, we were going to the store. And I said to him, I said, man, I said, I mentioned that I seen the water flowing up. And he's like, oh yeah. He's like, I can tell you a story about that. And he was telling me a story where he was over somewhere down in the islands and that that happened to him. The water pushed up up into the riser, down into the motor. All right, we just, we got one leaving. Let me turn it around, give you a big old fine boat this morning, heading out. Let's see if he, <laughs> you always want to check these. Sometimes they, uh, just like yesterday, we had one, that sailboat up front there bumped into him. I always want to get get the camera moving whenever somebody's coming or going. So, anyways, he's he tells that he says that yeah, that happened to me. I went to fire it up, water was in the cylinder, tried to compress, wouldn't, uh, and bent a rod in, from water coming up the exhaust, up and into the motor. So I feel quite confident, and mine won't do it by looking at the design. Um, so we're a little concerned about contiques because there's not covers over them. And uh, we're going to do some checking to try to make sure that's not a problem. But that's a weird thing to have to worry about. So when you're tied on a dock like we are, when those tides are moving, I'll tell you, I ain't never thought about anything like that. Hadn't even ever crossed my mind. But you have to be careful that water doesn't rush up into your, uh, into your exhaust and overtake. If it goes up, if it ain't a good rise to get up into your riser, then it can certainly happen. So just another story of things that go that can go wrong. Uh, let's see. Uh, so yes, got I got my spare coil and the, the, the answer to that question was, hey, mine's been cranking good. Uh, let's just do it. Let's just do a live test while we're here. Get y'all up in the grill. <laughs> Always a good sign when that happens. So there you go. Cranked right up. Good times. I'm doing good. Uh, let's see. Good morning from Michigan, Michael Brown. How's the dinghy working out? So um, I mentioned the other day, but uh, my Mercury motor, 
a little five horsepower that I bought. Dinghy's working great. Uh, the, the, the Mercury motor is, and we're going to do a test this morning, and I think I'll just uh, continue on with y'all. Um, let you watch a little bit live. I'll just let it go while we're looking at it. And then any comments. I can't probably won't be able to read the comments like I normally do when I'm talking to you. But you can watch live. We're going to put a little tester on it uh, to see. Uh, so basically what's happening is it'll crank up fine once it warms up. And imagine coil is what we're thinking it is. That when the coil warms up, it starts sparking or, or losing its spark. And I think it's the coil, uh, but we're gonna do a test this morning on it and see if it's breaking down whenever it warms up. Uh, because the coils for them are about $180, depending on where you you know, try to get it from. So long story short, the dinghy, I actually took it out. You can take it, but you can't run it hard because that, that coil gets hot and shuts off. So um that's a problem i'm dealing with it's not anything catastrophic obviously i don't have to have it but we're working on it uh we're doing the test so we don't spend that money find out that that's not what it is so for those mechanics uh because some people will send me some ideas but i thought it was the first thing i did is replace i got a brand new carburetor on it i've done a test on the fuel pump the pump is working perfect i, I disconnected while it's running and I can turn it up or put power on it and it pumps harder. The pump's working great. We pretty much figured out it is not the carburetor. So brand new carburetor. It's not the carburetor. It is it's and it seems electrical the way it shuts down. So that's what we're thinking it is, but we'll see as time goes on. So I'll let it I'll just let the camera roll out there while I'm where we're working on it. And uh y'all can kind of watch what we're doing and I won't be able to talk as much, but uh, be a little different. Let's see. Um, morning, Freddie and Lee in Daytona. Good morning, friends afloat. Um, friends afloat. Good morning, Britt Hubbard. Let's see. Yo, good morning from Hernando, Mississippi. Getting my pre-work jog in for the day. Good for you, sir. Staying fit, that's a good thing. Good morning from Wrinklewood, Florida. A.K. Inglewood, okay. <laughs> a lot of old people down there. Um, good morning, Captain from Cleveland, Tennessee. Eddie, how you doing, bud? Steve from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Wire Singer, hello from Flat Rock, Michigan. Uh, Chad, well said, thank you. Um, Robert, good morning from... Laramie Peak, Wyoming. Wow. 30 to 30 and snowing. Wow. Wyoming way out there. I plan on being out there someday. Come check y'all out. I'll be doing that with my trailer. I'm going to build one day. Um, good morning from jail, Robin. Huh? Uh, just kidding. Huh? Well, hey, nowadays, you got, they got everything in there. Probably, I imagine they could do it. Good morning from Miami. Um, so, just as a quick plug. Y'all know my second book uh, has come out, uh, Fire Below. Uh, it's out on it's on the website now. If you want to purchase it, it's also on Amazon. And uh, the bad guy in there, Felix Cardona, he is uh, he's in jail. And a lot of these stories I tell are comes from real stuff. And uh, he he's so rich, got so much money, he has a cell phone in jail, and he keeps his business running and, you know, has it smuggled in, but he uh, pays the guards and they don't, of course, they don't mess with him. So that's real stuff. That happens all the time. So very well possible somebody can be sitting in jail watching, uh, dreaming of being on the water. And I get that. They just shouldn't do whatever gets them in jail. I hear you. Um, let's see. Um, Rick L, how's Marty's problems coming along? Thanks from Delray Beach. So we're waiting on that part to come in today. Um, I'm pretty sure his problems are solved after today, as long as there's no issues with this water coming in. Um, but we'll, that's what we're waiting on. And it, they say it, it's supposed to have been here Friday, but it is on the truck and it is being shipped. Uh, so it is supposed to be here today. If y'all had smell-o-vision, 
you'd be smelling this pineapple, this pineapple getting right behind me. I keep smelling that pineapple. It smells good. So that part's supposed to be in today. And um, certainly by hopefully Tuesday, we do a live at five. We will be on the boats and up near like Fernandina Beach. So y'all stick around and we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Um, uh, morning, Mike from Riverview. I sent you an email yesterday. Uh, I'll check it out, but I hadn't looked at them uh, to yesterday or today. Um, Gary, uh, let's see, Northeast Oklahoma going fishing this morning on the Aluga Lake. Smash that like button, my friends. Thank you, Gary. Good luck on that. Hope you, hopefully you smash them. Um, Mike Marino, the message got restricted. I'm not sure why. Let's see. I don't know what it is. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, Tom. Good morning, Dino. Uh, Yelper didn't know quail problems were contagious. I know. Apparently, they get viruses, and somehow, I guess the dinghy got too close. I, I'm, I hope that's all it is, and we solved that problem, so the dinghy... Uh, I expect to get a lot of good footage out of the dinghy, so I'm trying. I want. I want that running. I uh, love being on. You know, my favorite part of being on the boat. That's why sometimes in the truck I go is exploring. I, I'm super excited about having that, so I can jump. Uh, there's an island right up here behind the camera. I've been. I can see it's got a sandy beach around it. I've been wanting to get up there and explore that island. Uh, looks super cool, but you know, my dinghy ain't running yet. So hopefully. Uh, and I'll tell you, like it right here, I would do that quickly in the kayak. But here, boy, these the way these tides are, the only way to do that is you'd have to catch it on the slack incoming tide, get up there, hang out on the island, and catch it on the tide coming back. You ain't rowing against these tides right here. When this tide's ripping through here, it's crazy. Not to mention, I need to clean the bottom of the of my darn kayak. I've got hair growing. I got shoot a hair on it's longer than my my little goatee here. I got to get to an island, get it flipped over and get it cleaned. <clears throat> um, Bill, do you, do you do anything special when transferring fuel from the cans to the boat? <clears throat> not, not really anything special. You know, we have a, um, we got the little tube. I'm not sure not the name of it. I don't remember or call the actual name of it, but it's, it's a hose and you jiggle it in there and it self pumps it. So I have my fills are here and one on the other side. I try to do it to where I can go to a dock like this is the way I like to do it. Marty doesn't mind putting his in the dinghy and going over. And then uh, I do it from the dock, standing from the dock usually, and that's worked out great for me. So um, let's see. Jonathan Howley Mike from Half Moon Bay. Always going to be a good time. That's for sure, brother. That's for sure. Friends of Float, think we found our live aboard Bahamas boat in Savannah this past weekend. Getting ready to, to live the dream. Life is short. Just got to do it. Man, I got to tell you, this is this is not just me saying. This is, it. ooh, there's a big one. Good Lord, have mercy. Man, same boat. Or... No, it's a different boat. Different boat. Hold on. Let me help them. Y'all watch this. Plus, I don't want them to hit good times.
Good, I had the camera turned around. The tide, as you can see, is, turn this around. Tide's not flowing at all, hardly, so that was a super easy one. It's a different ball game when that tide's flowing. Try to catch a few of these on camera. Like, that's a new boat. The boat that came in this morning, ahead of them, or that, that there was a boat there and the sailboat came in came in too hot and he didn't do damage but fortunately that boat was turned around and the two dinghies hit each other so yeah it happens uh back to the story i was saying just got to do it the most consistent thing that is said about people doing the loop is um do it now do it soon as you can i get it that there's preparation but the best thing you can do as far as financially is downsize get down to where you can go as soon as possible because i'm telling you life is short y'all i've seen it in my life and you hear it this is consistently said do it now do it as soon as you can do it it won't all always be perfect you won't have everything done. Y'all know on good times when I left, I didn't have everything just the way that I want it. Because if I would have waited on that, I wouldn't have never left. You just got to go get out here. Things will sort themselves out. And or they won't. And then we'll, it'll be like, could, could be like Contiki. And you'll work, but you'll still sort through it. You could have motors blow, but you'll sort through it. You just got to go. Do it and go. Get your boat and go if that's what you want to do. If you want to live vicariously through us, great. Welcome aboard. We love that. But if you want to do it, do it. Uh, life's the beach. Cool. Great. Uh, uh, greetings, Mike. Thumbs up. Thank you, Cabal. That's true. DA, if you're in Fernandina again, got to hit up uh, T Rays. Best fried shrimp around. Uh, T Rays. Good burgers, T Rays. I'll, I need to look that up. Da, uh, I think someone's actually already mentioned that. I believe that's one of the one they said. And I was looking yesterday. Um, where's it at, Ta? Is it on the? I'm assuming it's on the water, uh, on the waterfront there, across the tracks. Um, Kayak Seven Seas. Do you have to use ethanol-free gas for your boats? Not for the boats, because we burn through so much fuel, um, but uh, we'll use them on the dinghies because they set way more. And, um, but I'll be honest with you, the, the thought of using ethanol free, it, if, you have, if you have stuff that sits around for a long time, that's pretty important. But you, even with our dinghies, you gotta realize you go through that fuel a lot. Now, some people will argue that well, the hoses, it'll break down. The hoses are not made for that. That is true, but that I believe that that's over a long term, not over a short term. So as much as we're going through it, if we can get it, yes. If not, it's not a big deal. We don't, it's not like a, a major issue. Um, pro user, hello, Mike. Uh, you going to stop by the Lynn Haven Inlet or Rudy? Uh, Rudy Inlet in Virginia Beach. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't even recognize those right off. Uh, very well may. I have family in North Carolina and Virginia right there. So I spent, plan on hanging out a little bit in that area. So we'll have to see it. Brad, way to go, Mike. Uh, oh, okay. Y'all must have been watching. Um, 
Kayak 7C says you use Stabil Marine if I have to use ethanol fuel. Yeah, if it's for an extended period of time, um, hope this thing ain't froze up, acts like it froze up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, technical problems. If it's uh, for extended period of time, the stay bill works great, like you, generators that you're gonna leave over, you know, over the season, you know, or what have you, hurricane season, you get them out, fire them up. But again, these, this stuff will get used almost daily. So that's a big difference than just setting. And then here's Aussie. Oh, nope, nope. That's another sailboat. That, our buddy Aussie, I thought that was him moving up. I gotta say bye to him. Cool, really cool guy. Another one of these things that, like Marty talks about, you meet some cool people on the dock and then you're gone. It kind of, it kind of sucks a little bit, but uh, it's people you realize you could uh, spend lots of time with and uh, enjoy their company. And that's the way it's been. Let's see. Um, uh, DA, that one side steering, that's cheating. <laughs> that sucks is what that is. Yeah, for sure. Oh, unless you're talking about on that big boat. Um, you have thrusters. You could tell the thrusters were kicking. That's a big old fine boat. That's a very expensive boat. Let's just say they probably don't fuel like we fuel. They probably fuel in marinas. Um, John, uh, pretty cool. Did he have thrusters? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that I, heard, I was hearing the thrusters kicking in. And you see now he moved over. I gotta tell you though, thrusters, they're great, but when this tide's ripping through here, you're working those engines, man, I'm telling you. I'm gonna try to get that on camera for you. Um, let's see. Um, Rude, let's see, Chad, I guess is talking to somebody, Rude. Uh, yes, it is, um, okay. Uh, okay all right guys <clears throat> y'all having some conversations between you that's great um i'm gonna get ready here and uh let's see i think i see aussie i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna be able to talk to the camera much more I'm going to get a few things done. I want to look at this engine here right quick, but y'all welcome to hang out. I'm going to let you hang out and uh, watch up and down the dock, see what we're doing here, but um, it's kind of cool. And then um, I'll shut her down later. I'm going to see, do this test right quick on the computer. So again, I won't be, but uh, I won't be interacting with you, but this is kind of, it's kind of the same thing like whenever we uh, get underway um, and I, I'm having it run up top and I'm not being able to pay attention. So I'll let it run for a little bit. I'll get out here and get it set up. I'm going to point it up the dock first and y'all can just kind of watch what's happening up there. And then, uh, I got to get a couple things together. <clears throat> get my shoes on. It's so easy to hit your freaking feet going up and down or get caught on something. Get caught on the cleat sucks. All right, but I'm gonna let y'all watch a little action on the dock. <laughs> I'll turn it around, the dinghy's right there. I'll turn it around in a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, at that point you can still probably see what we're gonna be doing. I'll turn it in a minute. But...
Well, uh, this is that's this is before it. These are these are before it, right? And then it produces it afterwards. Yeah, these come from. Uh, yeah, one's the standard, one's the So we'd have to get it afterwards, going through the flow. Well, you're you're reading you're reading the coil right now. I mean, you're reading the stator. No, uh -huh. well, Your reading is wide open. Stator comes out of the Have a, 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 when you looked it up, did it show a diagram of, of the coil and what, what uh, the wires are yeah. in the stator? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we have to look at that. Yeah. Okay, so that is coming out of the stator, which I can't trace that from the stator. I don't see any of the wires coming out of here, so that's got to be coming out of the stator. It's wide open. There's, not, there's no reading at all. So let's go look at the diagram. You go up right there. Huh?
Vem vet som källar så? Nej, det är du som källar så. Varför källar du så där? Ja. Du kan ta det helt lugnt. Ja, det är så lite annat. There's white, <laughs> there's red. One said black and red, and one said white, so I'm saying this would be considered the black and red. Yeah. the other readings, so the coil readings itself? Yeah, because that was coming from the saber. Conditioning um, coil primary was 0 0.02 to 0 0.038. Secondary was boot was 3,400. Spark plug boot though, that this I'm assuming is after yeah. all of it. To uh, what? 3,500. Yeah, it doesn't have, it doesn't show the, 
right. I'm, I'm just reading the numbers that were in the chart. Okay, the, the spark plug wire, which is assigned here to the, the what? thousand to four thousand from the spark plug boot. Secondary without boot. Resisting. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm sure it is. They're all on it. Oh, let's do a little bit of over again. I'm really trying to find out for sure where the, where the stator wire comes out. Um, I should it's probably be able to look to see. We'll look at the diagram again. I mean, if I had to guess, the white one's going to the kill switch. Yeah, I would guess that. Yeah. And then the brown one is from the stator. Yeah, I would guess that. The eyelashes are coming off. Oh, man. He wanted to leave these on here. Oh, okay. Because he said it looks like a lady's eyelashes. 